G'day, welcome back to the hill climb. It's been a long time since we were last up here, as you may know. Today we've got the Frey Beast with us, as you can see here. It's got the M620 motor that we've taken up the hill previously, but this time it's got a 60 volt battery instead of a 48 and uh, puts out about 300 watts more peak power. So we're interested to see how that goes up the hill compared to the previous runs. We imported these Frey bikes last year because we wanted to offer a quality bike that can be unlocked without the fear of losing your warranty. The Fang is going to honour your warranty regardless of if you're riding it under 25 or if you're on private property and you're going 50. They're built to go that fast and they're not going to brick you if you do that to your bike. Unlike the previous bike we took up that only had a 600 watt hour battery, this has got a 1470 watt hour battery in it giving you plenty of range and helping with the voltage sag so we don't lose any power going up the hill which should also help contribute to our time. It's a very capable bike with good quality components, so it should have nothing stopping it from getting a great time up the hill today. All right, looking down the hill, we can see we're at the top. It's around 200 meters long. It's an average gradient of 17 degrees uh, with 24 degrees roughly at the steepest point. It's a nice smooth track with no obstacles, and this is so that we can directly compare the performance of each bike rather than it be up to rider skill. All right, enough about the bike and the track. Let's get started, do our runs. We're gonna do three runs each up the hill to get an average time and a best time that we'll look at at the end. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay, Frey Beast, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Alrighty, here we are at the top of the hill. We've done our runs. Wasn't too taxing with this nice powerful bike. And we got some good times we're gonna show you today. So the best time of the day was 42.7. It's about three seconds faster than the standard M620 over this short hill climb. And then with John's time, he also beat his previous 47 by a couple of seconds coming in at 45. And we'll show you the averages of the three runs as well and you can compare those times to some of the previous bikes we've tested. Of course, this big motor, big battery, this is a bike in a slightly different class to the Bosch and the Shimano little 250 watt motors, but it's good to see how they compare and what you get for that more powerful bike. Thanks for watching. I appreciate if you made it this far. It would be great if you could like or subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Next week we're going to be doing the Frey Evolve, which features the very new Fang M510 motor, 250 watt motor, so we're interested to see how that compares to the Shimano Bosch Specialized range. So that'll be interesting for next time. See ya.